Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you what an electrical inverter is. Well, first of all, we have to understand that it is in fact the opposite of a rectifier and it is the opposite to the thing that you usually use. So, for example, if you plug in your computer, you have a little black box and this rectifies the alternating current from the mains and makes it into direct current like battery current. But what happens when you want to do the opposite? You've got your laptop and you want to run it from the car. But the car battery is 12 volts DC. So 12 volts DC, for example, a car battery. So this is very important. You want, from this 12 volt car battery, you want to get an alternating current like 240 volt mains current. And it's not easy. In fact, to create alternating current from direct current is very difficult. But the electrical inverter does that job. You, in fact, using a, a com combination of capacitors and inductors, you can build up voltage and make the voltage alternate. That is, make the current go backwards and forwards instead of going always the same way. Now, the actual way it does this is very complex, but let's look at the result of it. What you're able to do is take what is direct current, that is current flowing all in one direction, into alternating current going backwards and forwards, uh, just as in the mains. Typically, you would want something like 250 volts and 250 watts. Of power. If you can get 250 watts, you can run a laptop, you can run lights and so forth. So basically the electrical inverter enables you to use a 12 volt or a low voltage DC supply, usually a car battery, to produce 250 volts alternating current into which you can plug your appliances, your laptops, and so on.